Hello everybody, it is Glaze here. I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you how to play a anchor. Um, follow up from my last video on when I did it on B site, that one with lots of different angles. You can go check that video out. I would much appreciate it. I hope it can help you out as well. Um, but this one on A site is going to be a lot more about taking. Um, fights really honestly and to be an A player you have to be very fast and you have to be quite a uh, very good rifler sorry I should say um, I'm going to start with what you should be doing on the opening of each round um, as I believe this is the strongest thing and I've seen multiple different pro players do this consistently um, however with everything you also want to change it up and make sure you do different things uh, in the CT half to make sure you're not readable by the opponent okay um so this is the first thing i'll show you when you should always be throwing a molotov towards ramp like you should be on b as well always throw that on apps always throw this on ramp as well to make sure they don't get they can't just rush and get an early peek if they have an orpa that has a ramp spawn they can't just peek and kill you when you're running up or they can't kill uh, the player that's running across the connector so you need to make sure with this molotov that it is deep enough okay I see lots of players who will throw molotovs like um, something like this or something like that. I mean, that's good. Can't stop them from being up here. However, if it was someone with an AWP, they can just sit behind here and just still, if they're scoped up, they can still see you cross. Or they can get a second teammate and boost up above the molotov. Okay? Um, so with this molotov, it's going to be slightly later, but you're going to be. Um, running up and throwing your Molotov just at the edge of this window. So that second window there. Run up, just throw it like that. And that will go slightly deeper. Let's spread down here. And also the fire is a lot bigger so you can't see over that at all. Even if you're scoped up, you won't be able to see through that, okay? Um, so what you can be doing, a follow up with that Molotov, is that you can also be aggressive and peek around it and try to get a kill. Is someone standing behind it okay so you can run up throw this molotov like that get a flash right click underhand boom don't do that because that's uh, stupid but uh run up throw the molotov throw a flash make sure you turn from the flash come here and take this take this duel okay then we full flash from that uh they'll be pushed back from the molotov they won't be here they'll have to be back here or around here, but they won't be able to see you because of how high the flames go. They won't be able to hear you either because of the sound the Molotov makes. Um, they won't be able to hear you running up, and they also won't be able to hear you throwing that flashbang either, which gives you a lot big advantage on fighting them, okay? Um, if you come here and get a kill, you should most likely... Um, just if you have a second flash or a HE, just throw it against that and just fall back. When you're falling back, always make sure to keep an arm palace to make sure there isn't someone here who's going to try get, get a trade kill. And you can fall back towards default, triple, or even CT if you want, okay? Um, if you do this initially and there's no one here, I suggest when that Molotov's there and you flash, you can either come here and see no one's there, you can just cross here, don't get burned. Come here and just post up in this position. This is, you should maybe only do this like once or twice a half, honestly. Because if you do it a lot, they'll just kill you quite easily. It's kind of off angle. Um, yeah, only do this a few times in a half. So, because when a T comes here and starts clearing this, uh, he'll clear bottom stairs, top stairs. Well, uh, sorry, bottom stairs, sandwich, top stairs. And if he's starting to clear around here, maybe he'll clear uh, here. He most likely is not going to clear here. And then he, after that, he'll start to think towards go towards here. So if you're sitting here, just crouch, just waiting. As soon as someone walks around here, that is a free kill. There's no way they're really going to check this unless they know of this, unless they play this position themselves quite a lot. Um, so this position can be very strong to get like two kills. Uh, if you take that first kill, don't just get your knife out and run. Because you're going to be crossing here. Um... And most likely, there will be a second uh, player behind him that will just kill you and trade you, okay? So after you take that first fight, you need to make sure you stay around this area and wait a few seconds. 
and be ready, like be, be focused up and be ready for that second person to be there and gonna swing and try to kill you, okay? Uh, if no one comes, then you can uh, bring your attention back towards Palace because most likely there won't be a second player there. Just check towards Palace, make sure no one's there. Um, if you don't fancy this position, as again it is, this is a super, super risky position to play. Um, with that Molotov and Flash combo I showed you, you can just come up and just jiggle on this corner with a smoke in your hand. And as soon as you see someone like peek around this corner, you can throw a smoke like that. And that will just stop them from getting any more um, information or pushing anymore, okay? One thing you can also do, because you're so close to um, the T ramp right here, when the uh, T side players are setting up their smokes and things for an A execute, you will hear them. You, you're you're going to hear all of their pins. So all, all of these, when they will do that, you're going to hear every single one. And as soon as you hear like all their pins, their smokes pop, you should throw that as well. And then their smokes are going to come in, you know. The smokes are all going to come in and then they either have a, have a choice to have to waste all of these smokes and wait for this smoke to dissipate or which is most likely going to happen they're most likely going to push through it because they feel they have to because they've used so much utility and they don't have enough to redo it so with that smoke they're most likely if they are throwing the smokes they're most likely going to push through it okay so you can reposition just behind it like this like really close to it and be ready for players to run through it. Always be aware that most likely they're going to throw uh, a lamp flash. So they're going to throw some flash like that. And that, oh sorry that was a battle. They'll throw some sort of lamp flash. And that'll, that will full blind you, okay? So you need to be aware that if a flash comes in right above you, it will full blind you. So when you drop the smoke down, be aware that you can you can also it might be slightly harder to hear the flash but they most likely won't just run through here unless you're playing against quite low elo players but be aware and just turn real quick avoid the flash and then as soon as it pops just swing get ready to jump through okay um if you're not really wanting to take any fights and you're wanting to fall back towards site you could also i mean if you keep your smoke, it's probably best, but you can just drop it and just walk away as well if you really want. Um, and just check towards Palace as well while you're leaving. And just reposition around default, triple or CT area. Um, but it's always good if you can keep your smoke or some sort of utility later when they actually execute. If you're more of like a passive player, if you have an AWP, obviously you can just post up here and just sit here and wait. However, with this position, it's kind of bad because um, if a T is like lurking and they get all this info, they're like, peek here, see no one's here, see no one's here, see no one's here. They start to clear all these different angles that you could be at. And then from here, they're going to see your gun barrel watching towards the ramp. So they'll just see you like that. And they'll just come around and kill you. And because you're sitting here, you won't be able to see them coming out of palace. Um, so only sit here if you have someone that is playing around here who can be checking palace every so often for you. Um, but make sure they know that you're not watching palace if you are watching that angle, okay? If you have a rifle, I advise that you just jump spot in CT. So you can just sit here and you can check palace just like here and then you can jump up real quick like that to check ramp. So you can come here, check palace, check ramp. Check palos, check ramp. And as soon as you see someone, or if you start to see smokes come over, um, you can just get in this position and just throw a smoke and ramp like that. Uh, there's lots of different smokes ramps you can throw. You can throw that one. There's one here, I believe, where just here, I think it is. Yeah, just smoke like that. And there's one just on here on this angle as well, just like that. So these are different smokes you can throw for ramp. Um, they might come in slightly late, because if you see the smokes come over, and you throw uh, one of these smokes, then it will be landing at their feet as they're like right behind it, so they might just run straight through it, and it might not phase them at all. Uh, one thing I've tried to do loads, and I found 
works very very effective is that as soon as you see the smokes come over you can run up close this is a bit risky because someone i mean most likely no one's going to peek right away until the smoke's bloom okay so as they throw the smokes you can just run towards the site and right click a smoke in the middle between default and triple and just play around some of these angles here you know you can play here see so you have to jump up on the box take a fight towards ramp here uh, take so this, this is like isolating fights. You can take more solo fights towards there, towards here, towards here, and with that smoke down here, it gives you more opportunities to move around. So if you get a kill here, you can easily just cross back towards CT, or you can even shift up and move towards default more and get ready for a player to swing here. Uh, and that will just cut off so much info. You know, you can jump up on default, take a fight here, here. There's just a million different things you can do. So I really advise using the smoke. In pugs or even um, team play, okay? This is an amazing smoke to throw down as it will deny so much information for the enemies and make it really difficult for them to know where you are and how to deal with you, okay? Under wood and above wood is probably the strongest position on a site if Molotovs didn't exist, okay? If Molotovs didn't exist, this would be the strongest position probably in the entire game, honestly, okay? However, 99% of the time, you're going to get mollied off. Even if you're sitting here, they're going to throw a molly, they're going to molly you off. Or if they're coming out of ramp, they're going to throw it against the A. They'll just molly you off like that as well. So, if you're sitting under wood, one thing I'll always say, always have a smoke. If you're sitting under wood, have a smoke grenade, okay? Only do this a couple of times a half ag again, like I said of that position there. Only do it a few times in a half, don't do it loads, or you're just going to have a very unpleasant time, okay? So as soon as they throw a molotov, uh, if a Molotov lands right here at your feet, you can just smoke it off. When you smoke it off, don't run out of it. Don't don't just smoke it off and then just come out here and try to take a fight, okay? Because you are going to die. If As soon as they smoke it, they're going to be waiting for you. You can just sit in the smoke. If you just throw that smoke down, you can just sit in it. Because it causes so much issues. Because that smoke's last 15 seconds, okay? So that's an extra 15 seconds on the clock. You can just sit in a smoke under wood. And they have to still try to deal with you while they're trying to deal with players from stairs jungle ct you know when your team rotate in just stay alive if you're sitting under wood and you can smoke yourself off stay alive you can throw a smoke you can try take a fight towards this angle maybe get like a slight one way um that would be really cool if you could do that but again if you're under wood and they molotov you stay alive um which is really strong you can also smoke above wood just throwing no, sorry, smoke palace. Just throw in a smoke like that if you want to help your teammate. If they want to peek towards ramp, uh, you can throw a smoke like that, or you can throw flashes towards the players on ramp against the opposite side on this one, just like that. And that'll pop just there. And then, anyone coming around here is just gonna get full flashed. Okay, those are some cool things you can do for under wood. Um, however, I wouldn't advise ever sitting here. Don't sit here because this is very easy to spam for the T's uh, if they know their lineup. But they can they can literally just aim here and they'll just spam here, and you're just dead. Okay. So if you sit here, they're a very common spot for like I guess mid to low tier players. They just spam you and kill you, even if you even if they molly and you smoke it. So try to stay in the smoke and just stay alive as much as you can. I know it can be very hard if they're all just standing here spamming it, but if they are if you feel you really have to come out that smoke, cool for a flash, okay? Say, so keep uh, flash sight, ask your teammate or something to flash sight, and they can just throw a random flash towards sight or just something like that. Um, and that way they'll actually give you a chance to try leave Underwood and try to take a fight, okay? Um, if you're sitting under here and they don't Molotov you off, you should be expecting someone... They could just peek down here and kill you, so don't... Don't sit like there, sit around this area. Um, try to take angles towards Tetris and here. But I wouldn't really wide peek here too often, uh, unless you're really confident. But if you take angles towards this area, then that's right on the box. So they'll have to jump up on that box. And as soon as they jump up, you can just get a free kill. So let's jump up on it, you just get a free kill. Because as soon as they jump up, that aim is going to be slightly off. A bit inaccurate, sorry, and you just get a free kill. Uh, I believe there's an angle on top of this box, maybe you can see people, I'm not 100% sure. You might be able to see people through that gap. Uh, you have to test that out in games, but I'm not 100% sure. But again, you can sit on this box and take a fight, isolate one towards right here, in that corner. 
because most likely they're going to jump all the way up there and you can get a kill there. Um, but yeah, and again, usual, usual utility uh, reactively when enemies uh, are coming to attack you. And make sure you change up your position, sit triple, default, ninja, CT, underwood, close, you know, change it up, change it up, change it up. But then again, I'll say always try to use this Molotov early, like that. That should land deep enough, or if you really want to line up, throw it against that, okay? That, they both land deep enough, and that follow up with a flashbang. And peek it, get a free kill. If you're in team play, you should do this every round, okay? This is also an extra thing. You can do it in pugs as well if your mid player is struggling. But um, instead of throwing a flash and pushing up, you can just throw that initial Molotov. And then you can run across here and just jump throw a flash. If you just aim at like, the top of connector here, and you just strafe across and just jump throw it like that. That will land just above these buildings, creating it a lot harder for the T's if they have like a uh, a mid spawn with an AWPer. It will be a lot harder for them to run up and then peek here and try to get a kill. So if you throw just one flash, you have to throw two. Just throw that Molotov, run across here, jump throw like that, and then just sit around default and just get ready if they push up or if they push the Molotov or anything like that. Okay, that flash will help your mid player more than you could ever imagine if you play mid before you will know exactly how insane this flash is so always try to help your teammate as much as you can by throwing flashes like that okay um that's about it go on an empty server try these things out try the nades out make sure you get them down and make sure the molotov goes deep enough in ramp so that they can't just peek behind it and push around it and exploit you okay um Again, change up your positions, make sure you're playing somewhere you feel comfortable at. Don't be predictable, things like that. Mix it up, do certain things only a few times. So only a few times uh, close ramp and only a few times under wood or above wood, okay? Um, thank you very much for watching. This is Glaze. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. And if you haven't checked out the Bianca video I did on Mirage, um, I very much advise you to check that out as well. There's lots of great things in there which you can learn from team play and also solo play and pugging. So I hope this video helped you a lot. Please leave comments and feedback uh, below. I'll very much appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. It is Glaze. I will speak to you guys later.